Hey, I'm Colby from Dishy Tech, a place where we talk all about Starlink satellite internet. And in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to split your Starlink router Wi-Fi network into 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz networks. This is a Starlink router. And by default, like most modern Wi-Fi routers, it broadcasts a single combined 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz network for all of your devices. Now, modern smartphones and other kinds of Wi-Fi devices they don't have a problem at all with this type of network, this type of combined network where you have both channels on one SSID. They're able to switch back and forth depending on what their needs are pretty seamlessly. But there, in some situations, you might have trouble connecting certain devices, especially older ones that may not be compatible with 5 gigahertz networks. I just ran into this myself installing a, a, a front doorbell camera. And what ended up happening was I couldn't connect to my Starlink Wi-Fi network after a couple hours of troubleshooting, I finally just split the networks, connecting that camera directly to the 2.4 gigahertz dedicated network, and all my problems were solved. So this video could come in handy for you if you're having some weird issues with certain devices on your network. Splitting your network is super easy thanks to the Starlink app. So open it up on your smartphone and go down to settings. You'll see your network here. You can see mine is called Dishy Tech Wi-Fi. If I click on it, Notice this option right here below the network name and password. It says split 2.4 and 5 gigahertz networks. This can improve compatibility for devices that don't support 5 gigahertz connections. Now the easiest and simplest way to split your Wi-Fi network is to go ahead and toggle this. You'll notice that a new field appears above where it says network name for the 2.4 gigahertz network. And actually what this does is split your network into a dedicated 5 gigahertz network and then a dedicated 2.4 gigahertz network. And you can name either of these independently and they use the same password. You can see I just named mine Dishitech Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. Just with that added 2.4 gigahertz on the end to let people know that this is a dedicated 2.4 network. And I left the 5 gigahertz the same. That way any devices that are already had connected that are using 5 gigahertz just fine will stay connected. I don't have to update that at all. And you don't have to update the password unless you really want to. Now this is the fastest and easiest way especially for early stages of troubleshooting, but there's actually a better way to split your network that I'm gonna show you. But before we get into that, make sure you go ahead and like this video if you're finding it useful or helpful at all, and go ahead and subscribe so you never miss any of my future videos. Now, the better way, in my opinion, to split your network into 2.4 and five gigahertz is to go into the Starlink app settings again, and instead of clicking and splitting your already existing network, Starlink actually allows you to add a secondary Wi-Fi network to your Starlink router. It's a recent feature that they added and it's pretty cool. It gives you a big advantage here. So the way to do it is to leave your primary network alone. Just leave it as default, whatever you configured it as your network name and password. Hit the add network button right below it. Now go ahead and toggle the split 2.4 and five gigahertz networks. Now what you'll need to do is type in a name for the 2.4 and the five gigahertz networks. You can see right here, I just named it Dishy Tech Wi-Fi five gigahertz for the five gigahertz network and Dishy Tech Wi-Fi 2.4 for the 2.4 gigahertz network with an obviously super secure password of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for demonstration purposes. Now go ahead and click save. It'll take up to about a minute here to apply these settings. Your router will reboot, but when it does, it's gonna be now broadcasting three different Wi-Fi networks. So now if I go into my Wi-Fi settings, you can see I'm connected to the main network, Dishy Tech Wi-Fi. That's the combined 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network all in one. But if I scroll down, there's other networks available now. Ignore the, the other two there, that's for my other system. But you can also see my new networks, Dishy Tech Wi-Fi 2.4 and Dishy Tech Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. Now the advantage of doing it this way versus the easy way is that now you have three separate networks. You have that primary default network, that's your combined 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. That's for almost all of your devices that don't have connectivity issues. So for example, I'm gonna leave my smartphone connected to that combined network because it does a good job of negotiating which band it should be on. But for other devices, especially older ones that may not be compatible with that combined network or a five gigahertz network, I'm gonna be com uh, connecting those to my new network that I just split up into two. Things like security cameras, smart home devices, low bandwidth devices that may be further away from your router than other devices, you may wanna connect to this dedicated 2.4 gigahertz network. Now on the other hand, if you have other devices that you want a very high speed connection to, you can connect them to that dedicated five gigahertz network. And that will leave them permanently locked onto five gigahertz instead of 
switching back and forth on that combined network. So this way you get the best of both worlds. You have your primary network that acts like any regular Starlink Wi-Fi network, and then you have a split secondary network that you can either connect devices to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. So if you've been having issues connecting a device to your Wi-Fi network, particularly older ones, then give this a shot. Go ahead and split your network into 2.4 and 5, connect those devices to 2.4 and see if you can get them working. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.